Hey guys, hope you're all doing great. Today I wanted to do the Jennifer Lopez Golden Globe Awards makeup and hair tutorial. Now, Artie is my model today. You may remember Artie from a previous video that I did. It was almost a year ago actually. Artie actually mentioned to me that it was exactly last year that she asked me to help her create a bridal makeup look for her wedding day because she would be in the Himalayas away from you know any makeup artists. So she was able to do her own makeup. We did do a little quick video um, of her experience, so if you guys want to check it out then just click on the link here, it'll take you to my Keeping Up With Zikri channel and you'll be able to see the video there with her bridal pictures and things like that. Um, however, if you want to see how I transform Artie into a uh, Jennifer Lopez inspired makeup and hair look, then just keep watching the tutorial. So here we've got Artie, I'm going to do a little interview with her afterwards, after she's all done up so that you guys can see what she looked like. Um, and yeah, I'm just going to start putting rollers in her hair so that we can get that really nice glamorous Jennifer Lopez look. Jada had her hair tousled and curled to one side, so the way that I'm going to um, put the rollers in would be in this direction. So each section that I take, I'm going to make sure that I've got straight lines with each section. And what you need to do when you're using rollers is to make sure the hair that you take is not wider than the actual roller itself so literally the width should be just a little bit less so that it completely goes around the roller part so take each section for hairspray and then I'm just going to hold it with the hair pin so this is specifically a hair grip for the roller itself and then I'm going to take the next one and then just wrap the hair around. It can get quite tricky, so if somebody does have layers, just make sure that all the layers of hair are taken in underneath as well. You don't want any extra hair coming out the sides. What you want to do is the flat end of your roller grips should be flat against the scalp. That's the way that it will hold in place. Okay, and then I'm going to do the rest, and then we can start on the makeup. For the purpose of this tutorial, I've already applied makeup to one half of Artie's face. So this is what it looks like without the makeup, and we're just going to transform the other side. So applying the Embrylease moisturiser to begin with. And I'm going to apply that generously all over the face. So be sure to use down strokes and just generally apply it with a foundation brush. And I'm using this corrector, which is a yellow toned corrector, just under the eyes. And then just using my deluxe concealer brush. I'm going to buff out the concealer and just blend it. I'm now going to move on to applying some eyeshadow primer and I'm using the Lime Crime Eyeshadow Helper which looks like this using my ring finger and applying it generously all over the eyelids. Quite sticky so you really do need to work the primer into the eye. I'm going to use this colour which is Stardust and I'm going to apply it towards the inner half of the eyes. Just close. You want to work quite closely around the tear duct area because that's where the light hits the eyes and just reflects it back and makes it look more glowy and just blend outwards. Then I'm going to use this Glow Eyeshadow and I'm going to apply that to the centre part of the eye. And just blend. And then just blend it towards the outer corner. I now use Fair Canvas which is this colour here and I'm going to use it just underneath 
the brow area. Next I'm going to take this shade which is called Vintage and I'm going to apply it to the outside. Sort of a almost greyish brown shade. Once I've done the sort of basic eyeshadow application, I'm just going to move on to applying foundation. I'm just using the beauty buffer and just gently pressing the foundation in. And I'm using my HD cream foundation for this. The great thing with the beauty buffer is you can just, you know, apply it by pressing the sponge onto the skin and it just creates a flawless finish to the makeup. So you don't always have to be a professional to get that flawless look. You can use tools which will help you. And because it's got this pointed tip you can really go inside and just cover any areas and go along the eyebrows. And we're almost halfway there. I'm now just going to apply some concealer just underneath Artie's eye area. And then I'm going to go back in and finish off the rest of the eye makeup. Next I'm going to use my Lush Liner and I'm going to apply it on the inside waterline. And you want to just press it gently across the waterline. without applying too much pressure by just asking them to close their eyes. And then what you want to do is use your extreme art line of head, starting from the centre, working outwards, and then from the inside, working inwards. Apply it to the outside as well. Just go along the bottom half and begin smudging. I'm going to go over the eyeliner so it's close for me, Auntie. And I'm using the Extreme Art Liner pen just to define the lines. And in the Jennifer Lopez look, she does have thin liner going from the inside and then getting progressively thicker on the outside. And just open. And look up. And again just on the outside. And I'm just going to smudge a little bit underneath just to get a softer appearance. And just to glam it up a bit we may go in with some eyelashes as well kind of add more drama. Remember this is an inspired look so it doesn't have to be exactly the same as Jennifer Lopez's makeup. You do it as you know you feel that your makeup should look and what you're feeling comfortable with. And this is just going to soften the overall look of the eyebrows so that there's more focus on the eyes. It helps just to keep them in shape as well. Another thing I did on this side was that I added a bit more definition to the inside part of Artie's eyes and I just used the Nutmeg eyeshadow 
using my deluxe concealer brush and I've just etched a little bit on the inner half of the eye and what this does it just helps to frame the eyes a little bit more because when you're using a light colour especially around the inside of the eye it ends up looking a little bit too bright so you kind of need to make sure that all the makeup goes well together not just looking too over the top so this is just going to help to create a bit more definition and complete the overall look more and I'm just going to sweep that down to the outer bridge of the nose and I'm just going to apply it just to the under part of the cheekbones this is just going to help to slim down the face and create more definition lighted effect on the cheekbone I've already applied it on there so we just want to brush it on initially and then we can just intensify it depends how much glow you want on your cheeks and because of this JLo inspired look, we're going to go for full glowing radiance on the skin. And just on the bridge of the nose. And just on the forehead. Just going to add the blush, which is this nude blush. And it's sort of like a peachy tone. It's a peachy coral colour. And we're just going to ask Archie to smile for us. Okay. And just apply it to the apples of the cheeks. And this is a very good dupe for the one that looks like Jennifer Lopez wore. So it's like a peachy coral. And you just want to apply it to the sort of outside cheeks. Not the inner part, just more around the outside towards the cheekbones. See that just under the eyes, I just want to create a really flawless finish under the eyes. And it's going to set the concealer and eliminate any creasing, which is what we want to avoid. We want that red carpet flawless finish. And also to any other areas that might crease up so that usually it's where you smile and laugh and those areas are the ones that are most likely to crease up so and it's quite a nude shade I may use another colour on top but this will be the base colour you can see the look starting to take place mm. Makes a difference when you're yeah. still. <laughs> so we're almost complete with the look. I'm just going to take sections of our teeth hair and do a bit of back combing. And here's Artie's finished look. Very glamorous. <laughs> Ready to go out yeah. on a date or a red carpet event. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, Another really transformed nice. look. Yeah, Thank you. <laughs> it's alright. Thank Love you to it. Artie, she's been a sport. And Thank she's you, so Put up with a lot today. We've she is brilliant. Issues. You know so, that. Sometimes you. I don't know what to say really, but <laughs> uh -huh. she's just brilliant. Oh, so I have to move probably closer to your house. Okay. Okay. I don't so mind. <laughs> I'll find you a place. <laughs> cool. A great start to 2013. Yay! <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial as much as I enjoyed working with Artie creating it. If you enjoyed this style of video then please press the like button so that I know what kind of videos you like to watch. Until the next time, I'll see you again soon.